Dad, Amber's mom can drop us off if you're running late. Cam, I told you I would drive you to your overnight, and I will. Jenny's meeting me at the restaurant, and I thought I'd surprise her with one of Adrian's cotton candy liquid nitrogen milkshakes. She did love those shakes. <laughs> well, how do I look? Handsome. You sure the shirt works? You're going with the perfect color, Mr. Coyle. Green's the color of nature. Not to mention, it's the most restful color on the human eye. <laughs> Just saying, if you're looking for a conversation starter. <laughs> I appreciate that, Amber. Now, one more gift for you, Senor Coyle. Oh, you've already been too kind, Adrian. It's one of my personal favorites. Banana essential oil using carbon dioxide under high pressure. Ethanolic essence of fresh pine needles. And an added touch of violet or poppy. Oh, I, I like that. Thanks, Adrian. Well, uh, I think I'm ready. Oh. Almost. I found this in your closet, Dad. You should wear it. Shows off your fun side. I love it. <laughs> Cam made this for me when she was five. It was uh, in her early tie-dye phase. Unfortunately, it included a pair of her mother's really expensive heels. Remember that look on her face? <laughs> <laughs> you, you ready, ready for, for this? this? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, one last thing. A good luck, gummy breath mint. Oh. Thanks, honey. Well, let's get going while these are still cold. They grow up so fast, don't they? See, but you have to let them go. We're talking about him, right? Uh, absolutely. <sighs> Addison, bring up the last case file again. Um, if you want to talk about today, I'm all ears. I'm fine, Addison. I just need to make sure I didn't miss anything. I can't afford another mistake. You think the Nighthawk or the Falcon or the Quail let things slip? File, please. Here you go, boss. Come on, Addison. My bad. Thought you said Kyle, please? This is so awesome. <laughs> this was kind of my first sleepover. Ember, thanks for everything. Hey, we're friends. This is what friends do. You know what? How about we get some sleep? You take the top bunk. I kind of like to stretch out at night. Good idea. Not a lot of room up here. No, there isn't. Night, Ember. Uh huh. Got a minute? Sure. Want to explain why this was on my dresser? I can't take the pen. I don't deserve to be the owl. I'm not ready. Michaela, you made a mistake. There's not an agent in the field who hasn't failed in the course of a mission. I let Innovate down. I let you down. You didn't let me down. You've never let me down. Is that my boss or my mom speaking? In this case, that's both of us. I'm gonna let you in on a little lesson your grandmother taught me when I was a new agent. As painful as it is to experience it, failure is part of what makes us successful. Because the best way to achieve true success is to learn from and be strengthened by our mistakes. Michaela, I trust you and your instincts. Now you need to. I just need to do a better job of focusing on my work. Is that why you and Kyle broke up? How'd you know? Hello? 
I'm the head of an international spy organization. Comes in handy when you're a mom. My relationship with Kyle was getting in the way of my job. The case comes first. Michaela, all innovate cases are important. But what's just as important is to have a life outside of work. I guess, but... Honey, you need to find balance. Your father and I struggled with that, too. I, I just wish that I'd made more time while I still had the chance. Dad's the one who left, Mom. It wasn't your fault. Check it out. That's Black Star symbol. Yeah, but at this angle, look familiar? It's Havoc symbol too? Exactly. It's like Black Star and Havoc are somehow connected. So I did a little more legwork, and I think Michaela may be right. We can't rule out Lazarus. Girls, I agree connecting Black Star to Havoc is a significant piece of evidence, but it doesn't directly tie Carson Lazarus to Retro. We're going to need more to go on than that. Go on, tell her. Me. Talk directly to the quail? I've been dreaming of this day since as long as I can remember, which I know is only two weeks, but when you're a secret agent, two weeks feels a lot longer than for a normal civilian. It's like a secret agent's trying to passage. I'm sure you've been there, the quail. Or is it the quail? We haven't really been over this. Get yeah. yeah. to it. Please. And it's the quail. Got it. So, when I ran a voice analysis on Retro, I also ran a gender recognition algorithm. The fundamental voice frequency was 175 hertz, which means that Retro could be a man or a woman. Which doesn't rule out Lazarus. Looks like Retro decided to up the ante. Whoa. No way, this is muy malo. This isn't good. Hello, Maywood Glenians. Maywood Glenians. Feels quaint. Old fashioned, don't you think? Well, get used to it. Mad congrats on foiling my plot against Dr. Tuttle, but I'm afraid all you've done is make me angry. Now I feel like I need a hug, and I know just who to get it from. Four of the most talented criminal hackers out there. Or should I say, in there. They're all currently residing in prison. The name's notorious. A hacker by trade. I crack codes and make you feel played. In 24 hours, I want my comrades in chaos delivered to me. If you don't, you're going to regret it. And I better not see the police. Clock's ticking. Tick tock. Tick tock. If Retro joins forces with these hackers, it could have devastating consequences for the city of Maywood Glen. Which is why if we can prove that Lazarus is Retro, we can put an end to all this chaos. I'd hoped that Lazarus had changed her ways, but the possibility exists that she hasn't. All the more reason for us to get out there and find the truth. We promise to keep a low profile. Besides, she'll never suspect, well, us? Fine. I'm authorizing you to begin an investigation. But use extreme caution. We're dealing with a very dangerous criminal. We won't let you down, the quail. <sighs> I know we're smart, but that was a hard exam. Good thing taking tests is your thing. Yeah, felt strange. Won't say that again. Uh, anyway, I'm glad I found you. Addison has some intel on last week. I know where she lives! Madison, school voice. OMG, these Alex totes know where she hangs. Not that school voice. Janitor's room. Janitor's room. Addison, tell Bri what you told me. Well, after a data search of Lazarus's recent online purchases, I tracked her address and determined she's living in the Glenwood apartments. Feeling blue, dress it up with glitter glue. Ah, FYI, that was not me. Avi, she's still glitching. Hello? Oh, what y'all doing in here?
here. Private combo. Just chilling like a villain. Yeah, that didn't feel right either. Won't do that again. Uh, anyway. Hi, I'm new. I'm Michaela McAllister. Ember Evergreen. Well, I don't want to interrupt y'all's chilling, but I need to water Larry the Janner's aloe vera. That man pays more attention to his mullet than his plant. There you go, darling. Drink up. Oh, jackpot. Good trash. <laughs> I didn't know that trash could be good. It's for composting, which helps soil retain water and nutrients. I'm making biogas with an anaerobic digester for my tech fair project. When bacteria digest biodegradable material, they release methane, which can be harnessed as a source of energy. <laughs> and if any of y'all are thinking about stealing my idea, you'll find there's plenty of street in this country, girl. No, no, the trash is all yours. Do you want this? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh, and it's a Honeycrisp. Y'all have excellent taste in produce. Uh, thank you, I think. You can learn a lot about people from their trash. Bye, y'all. Bye, Lucinda. It's hard on a plant living in a closet. That gives me an idea. Grab Lucinda and make a run for it? Another idea. A really disgusting idea. Ugh. Guys, it's Lazarus's trash. If we dig through it, we could find some clues. Michaela? I never would have thought of you as the dig through garbage type. Respect. I just wish you had given me a chance to change out of my new heels. They're mule mule. At least they were. Look what I found. Who would want to throw these away? I me. would. Not really my style. Haters. Hey, Cam. Can we use this for a water powered car? I was kind of hoping that we jumped off that water powered car cliff. No way. I will take Justin down at the tech fair. Nice find, Adri. Except it's a carburetor. They used to be a big part of internal combustion engines, but have been replaced in the car industry by fuel injectors. You have no idea what she's talking about, do you? No, I just want to go home and take a hot bubbly bath with it. Hey guys, check it out. It's an issue of Cat Fancy Magazine addressed to a Mr. Carson Lazarus. She must get that a lot. Lazarus has a cat. Let's find out. Camera device. Or as I like to call it, Cameron's cat camera to follow a cat around the house device. You know, I think I'm learning the drill. Killer with inventions, bad with names. Well, it works. I routed it through the Innovate server so we could all watch it through our tablets. <clears throat> and Addison. Why did you make a cat cam? I was curious what my sister's kitty Helix the cat did while I was at school all day. And there's Lazarus. Who's hungry? Oh, did I tell you guys? My abuela hired a new chef. That's awesome. Now I'll be able to dedicate more time to Cafe Adam's newest signature blended drink. The... Churachino. I was hoping for some applause. Pity applause? Oh no, Michaela, you have your Froyo study session with Kyle! Uh... You know what? We're in the middle of a stakeout, and the clock is ticking on Retro's demand, so I think I'm just gonna cancel. No, you're not. Per the Quail's request, we're under strict orders to help you maintain your social cover as a normal teenager. Okay, but given the circumstances, I think the Quail would agree. Bu -bu -bu -bu. No cancellations. You can't flake. You need to blend in, like my Churro Chino. Get it? Blend in? Still nothing? I have no idea what to say to Kyle. I'm good with smart talk, not small talk. You're going to do fine, and I'll be there to help you. You take Addison, and Brian and I will watch the cat cam on our tablet, and we'll let you know if anything exciting happens. I thought you were going to be sitting with me, or at least near me. You're a natural at this. Kyle's not here yet. I'm hoping if I say it, it'll come true. You know I can hear you, right? I don't know why you need Adri to help you, Em. I'm both charming and engaging. Yes, you are, Addison. 
And you're also a notebook. And he's coming this way. Hey. Hey. Wow, this place looks different. Yeah. Notice my new touches. It looks really nice. I like him. <laughs> nice cover. Did you say something? <clears throat> uh, no, I was just uh, clearing my throat. Mm. Anyway, I took the liberty of putting together some notes for our Alexander Graham Bell project. This one covers his birth on March 3rd, 1847 to 1870, when he graduated from the University of London. Em, slow down. And this one covers his move to Canada. Not that slow. Where he eventually invented the telephone. Should we get some coffee? Tell him to order the Giorgino. Uh, their specialty here is the church, you know. That sounds good. Two Giorginos coming right up. How'd she hear us? She's from Spain. Thanks uh, so much for doing all this work so quick. I mean, this would have taken me like two weeks at least. Do you have poor study habits? Not cool. Tell him you are joking. What? Oh, I was just saying that my study habits uh, do need work. <gasps> System's glitching. Well, hey, here's a good joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hola, it is me with two Georginas. Project Day.